Appalachia Online, Captain. I know most of you love America. Good old red, white, and blue. But those of us who served at Mariposa know something. America failed. Not because of its citizens. They lived clean lives filled with hardship and never ending. Certainly not because of its fighting men and women. God bless them. No. Its leaders failed us. Senators, generals, presidents, all those bastards. Their failure almost destroyed all mankind. But I look around here, and I see survivors. People too stubborn. People too damn ornery to die. We've fought, and we've endured, and we finally have a small patch of sand. Having a home isn't enough. Something more. His purpose. We cannot look to the America of old for that purpose. We have to build our own. So tonight, as we break bread together, let us forge together something new. Something strong. Something we can be proud of. Something we can build upon. We'll preserve what's best of what's come before us and use it. And one day, we will reclaim what was lost. Let us forge a brotherhood a steel. March. I keep recording these, hoping one day I can make it home. I found these Brotherhood of Steel guys outside of Grafton. Now, I'd heard about them. Some weird military cult. Seeing them in action, though, made me... Uh... <laughs> I remember when my unit would roll in like that, all shock and all. I'll tell you what, these Grafton Raiders, <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. One of them, Knight Moreno, noticed me. Came over and chatted. Nice guy. Made me rethink the stuff I've been told. It uh, came out I was in the cavalry in Anchorage. He said they had a place for me. Marsh, I'm sorry. I made it maybe 400 miles since the bombs. At this rate, Texas might as well be a million miles further. I need a... I need a unit. A place to belong. Like the Brotherhood may be in. Marge, it's been a couple of weeks. I've had three squares, showers, working lights. Oh, well, Camp Venture's got power. Proper power, Marge. I'd be almost human if it weren't for the senior night in the training. I graduated basic easy back in the day, and I, I know I may be a bit softer, but... Wilson's an army ranger, or, well, was one. And the drills they are making us do. But as beat up and worn out as I feel that first time getting back into the 51B. You can call yourself Knight, Paladin, Grand Poobah of the Roman Empire, I don't care. Just don't take my power armor away. They're, uh... Russian training. Big battle with super mutants happening. No good. I got me some aggression I need to unleash.
Captain. It's just us. Lizzie. What's on your mind? A Brotherhood of Steel. The men over here are confused. We need to do something bold. We can't just stay the U.S. Army. What's gonna happen, and this is only a matter of time, is some general or some goddamn politician is gonna exit a vault and start moving us around. And worse, they'll order some grunt to start the whole goddamn cycle again. Another wave of nuclear death, and if that's not enough, they'll do it again. You know they will. It ends with us. We won't lose them. Uh, I understand. But a brotherhood? Knights? Am I supposed to call you, what, Elder? Words have power, Lizzie. They build identity. They take on a meaning if you keep using them, even if it didn't exist before. It was the knights and the scribes, after the fall of Rome, that protected what was left of Western civilization. So we are the new knights, and our role is similar. But we'll need more than names. We'll need new traditions, our own mythology. Something people can believe in it to their core. Is this necessary? What else can I do? Declare myself president? Make you a senator? Look around, Lizzie. Something's killing us. More than the rads and the freaks out there. Depression. People have lost everyone. Every goddamn soul. Wives. Kids. Loved ones. Even the goddamn mailman. To replace it with something. Otherwise, people's souls will wither. We'll be little more than walking dead men. I'll do my best to see the orders carried out, sir. Give it time, Lizzie. People have a hunger to believe in something. Just let them work their way to it. Training and their call signs seriously, that's for certain. Organized, efficient, access to hardware. You'd think they'd be ruling West Virginia by now, but they're gone. If they're following military logic, then they'll have a fortified headquarters somewhere, and a leader, someone who knew what they were planning.
Just leave me alone. Please. Do you mind coming back later? I really just need some time alone. Forever, actually. It's... It's my sister. I thought it was over this already. She took her final stand here. At Fort Defiance. I should have been here with her. I'm such a coward. Aside from bringing back the dead? No, there's not. But I appreciate the offer. Take this. It's better off with you than me. <laughs> this is Allegheny Asylum. Or rather, Fort Defiance. That's what the Brotherhood of Steel called it when they took up residence here. Fort Defiance. Defiance against the scorched threat. Well, just because you defy doesn't mean you succeed. <laughs> They're all gone now. Every last one of them. They took their last stand here. They thought they could drive back the Scorched, but they were overwhelmed. I don't know. How am I supposed to feel about the people my sister died for? If it weren't for the Brotherhood, then she might have left with me. Might still be with me now. Or, or maybe she would have just found another cause to die for. That they're monsters. They'll kill anything and everything that isn't them. And for what? What's the reason? What's the reason my sister had to die? Sorry. It just feels so cruel. To answer your question, I don't know much. Why should I be? I've got nothing to live for anymore. When the Scorched came to Appalachia, I ran away. Kaede wanted me to join the Brotherhood with her. But I was afraid to fight. Afraid to die. Now I see it's better to die for something than to live for nothing. Okay. Me? I'm a pathetic waste of life named Jonah. Because I made one too many mistakes I can never take back. This miserable existence is my penance. My parents are long gone. Killed during the war. My sister, Kaede was a Brotherhood Knight. The best of them, without a doubt. She was so determined to see the world through to a better future. So she fought for it, here, at Fort Defiance. Now I get to see the future, and she doesn't. Maybe not, but I don't have the will for it. I've always been weak. Just let me mourn in peace. Gladly. Thanks. <laughs> oh, not again. Hospital incident report, resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. 
One of the junior nurses has suffered a nervous breakdown. His assignments included patient 5A3, whose afflictions manifest in habitual self-harm. Patient 5A4, who, uh, well, are violent, does aggressively grab and paw at whoever is trying to administer care. And also, patient 5B7, who breaks down into loud, unconsolable fits of crying, with no apparent cause or trigger. Uh, that, and the constant attention and sanitary cleanup required throughout the day for all of his charges, was too much for the young nurse. We found him standing outside the door to one of the patient's rooms, carrying a tray of food, but not moving anywhere. One of the other nurses noticed he'd been standing in place for over an hour. When he finally responded to our attempts to get his attention, he seemed surprised that any time had passed. During our exit interview, he broke into tears. He wanted to know if something was wrong with him, if he would end up here as a patient. I explained that nervous exhaustion was a common ailment, especially for hospital workers. Maybe after some months of rest, he could reapply for his job. <laughs> that didn't seem to console him. This is embarrassing. You came back, and I'm still here, crying. If you're hearing this, stranger, I'm dead. The Brotherhood is dead, but I'm relieved. Believe there is someone, anyone, alive. I honestly don't care if you're Chinese, American, or whatever. You're a human being. Listen, I don't have much time, but the scorched are more of a threat than you can ever imagine. You have to find a way past the security I installed. If you're former military, all you need is your government-issued military ID card. If not, find a way, I know. Some ghost probably isn't very persuasive, but look past your own skin and consider there's so much at stake. We did, and that's why I'm going out to die. <laughs> at Victorium, Scribe Grant signing out. <laughs>